Welcome to the channel. I shared with you over the summer our summer bucket list and now I am bringing to you a fall slash winter bucket list. Stick around. Welcome to the channel. My name is Morgan here at The Life of Tillman's. If this is your first time, I am so happy to have you. I hope that while you're here, you find everything that you need, love, and enjoy right here on the channel. If you haven't done so already, go ahead, click that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you do not miss any of the videos here on the channel. If you've been with me before, welcome back. I'm excited to share with you our bucket list that we created, mainly me. <laughs> with my children in mind um, for the fall season. I always set out to try to do something different because going to the same pumpkin patch or doing the same recipes or whatever it may be, sometimes can be boring. You do it every single year and you're just like itching for something new. So I always try to set out to do something that we haven't done before and just seek out different opportunities. We go to a pumpkin patch every year we did not go maybe two years ago um, because of COVID, but we go every year. And that's something that we enjoy. However, I'm putting a little spin on it. So I'm gonna share with you guys 10 things on my bucket list for this fall slash winter season. Get your paper and your pen so you can write some things down. Before I even start, put it down in the comments something that you want to do different. Think of something different for you and your family to do for this fall and share it with everyone in the comments. All right, number one on the list is a pumpkin patch. Yes, we wanna go to a pumpkin patch. However, we are going to go to a different pumpkin patch this year. We have an opportunity to travel for some sports that we are going to be doing. And my goal while we are there is to visit a pumpkin patch, a completely different state, different city, new experience, Still a pumpkin patch, but it will be new. Also, that goes along with number one is here we have a new festival type of thing <laughs> that will be going on at our botanical gardens. It's all about pumpkins. They call it Pumpkinville is what it is. So lots of different fun activities, face painting. My daughters missed out on face painting when we went to the state fair. Fingers crossed they get to do face painting at Pumpkinville. Those are the two things that I am really hoping and places that I'm hoping that we can squeeze in. It's on my bucket list. And going along with the new pumpkin patch and trying something new, we are going out of town as I said, but I want to go and visit an orchard. I called today, they still have apples. Fingers crossed when we get ready to go in a week or so, they still will. We do not have one close where we live. So I'm hoping that this 20 minute drive from our hotel room where we'll be staying will bring us so much of like fall love and joy when we get to go and pick our own apples. That is a win. And remember, not everything on your bucket list might you be able to get to. The goal is to knock everything out, but if not, it can always be there for the next year. All right, number two on my bucket list is to travel more with my husband. I have mentioned it before, my husband does a ton of traveling for work, and this time of year it gets really, 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 <laughs> I don't think I can say really enough, but it gets really busy. We want to try to spend more time with him um, in going to some of those places if they are close enough and we can just get away. Of course, he will work during the day, but then we'll get to see him and spend time with him. That is on my bucket list. We do that sometimes during the summer because our schedules are a little less hectic, but we are going to carve out some time and make it happen this fall slash winter, no matter what. Number three on my list, this probably sounds really, really silly, but I've never done it before and I want to give my daughters the experience as well. Jumping in a pile of leaves. Yes, just a huge pile of leaves. We have trees all around us and the way our house is built with the wind that comes sweeping down the plains, <laughs> we get leaves on our front porch under our bushes all the time and on the south side of our home. My goal this year, once it dries out, because we just got a ton of rain from storms, once it dries out, we are going to rake those leaves into a huge pile in our front yard and just jump in them and enjoy jumping in a pile of leaves. I've never done it before. And I'm like, why not? Why not be a kid again and give my girls that experience? We're gonna do it. Number four is decorate pumpkins. 
So you think that's not different. However, we always carve these huge pumpkins. Cut the tops off, get all down and dirty, pumpkin seeds, stringy stuff, yuck, nasty. Put really cute faces or stars or carve our um, initials, something like that in our pumpkins. This year we are doing a no carve pumpkin decorating experience for multiple reasons because my girls don't like sticking their hands in there and I always seem to be the one with the strong arms to get all of the gunk out. But I wanted to just try something different. We are gonna pull out glitter, Yes, I said glitter. We're gonna do this in the garage, not in my house. <laughs> if you know anything about my relationship with glitter, it's really not a good one, but we are going to pull out glitter and ribbon and needle and thread, and we are going to do some different type of pumpkin decorating. Glow in the dark paint, put them on the porch, decorate them in our house. These are the three that we have purchased already. We will be going back and getting more because they are super cheap at Aldi remember that. Um, so we're going to go and grab some more pumpkins and we're just going to decorate them in a completely different way that we've never done before. Number five is we are going to watch weekly a different, um, I'll say fall slash winter feels type of movie. Some of those movies would be like Coco or Casper the Friendly Ghost, The Great Pumpkin Patch, Charlie, Charlie the Great Pumpkin, something like that. <laughs> Um, those are just a few. My girls really love the Frozen movies and I think it just has that fall wintry feel of it. So Frozen 1 and 2 are on our list as well. And every week on Family Fun Night, which is Friday nights, we are going to watch a different fall slash winter themed movie. Number six, I am going to create an at home fall festival. What that looks like is like really fun fall games. I have one in mind and this may just be the only one that we do, but bobbing for apples. I remember a very long time ago that I did bob for apples and how much fun it was. Our girls have never done that. We have a huge bucket, some water, some apples. I mean, it's just a fun time. We are gonna laugh because it's going to be absolutely hilarious and I can't wait. <laughs> but bobbing for apples and some type of fall festival, I'll add in a couple of additional games and we'll just have a good time doing it right here in our own home. Number seven, I found online a really cool fall scavenger hunt. Here it is, okay? We are going to use this fall scavenger hunt page and we are going to go to our local nature center. It is outdoors. They do have an indoor section where you can look at different, um, like different animals and things like that. But we are going to be outside in nature. We're gonna put on our jackets. We're gonna throw on our boots, jeans, long sleeve shirts, and we are going to get out there and see how many of the things on this fall scavenger hunt we can locate in nature along with animals we have deer in our area all the time and every time we drive past the lake area we're always like deer watching <laughs> we want to see how many deer we can find and count them and everything i'm hoping that when we go to this nature center which is in the deer area that we will get to see tons of deer and squirrels and birds and just really get out there and look in nature. And in the process, we have a really cool, fun scavenger hunt to go along with it. Number eight on my bucket list is a new recipe every single week. And the kicker is the recipe will be chosen by the girls. I'm going to give them a huge list of recipes, fall things like chilies and all the kind of stuff that you put in the fall, like warm, cozy, comfort food. I'm excited about comfort food um, with balance. <laughs> but I'm gonna give them a huge list and I'm going to allow them each week to choose one recipe. This will be something new for us, hopefully. Um, I'm sure there will be some oldies but goodies on the list as well. But just allowing them to be able to choose and they get to participate in cooking that recipe. That is going to be so much fun because I really enjoy cooking in the fall. Um, it just, I don't know, I like it more. I'm more of like a sandwiches and salads type of person in the summer. Um, and in the fall, you get to like cook and warm everything up and it just feels really, really good. Number nine on my list is candy apples. We are going to do caramel dipped candy apples with sprinkles and all of the goodness. We have to do this vegan style, which is awesome. I did find some vegan caramel and vegan sprinkles. We love apples. 
why not go for it? Vegan caramel apples. Like when you go to the fair, and when we went to the fair, we didn't get to have any of those because the caramel on the apples is not vegan. I'm excited. The girl's going to love it. And we may choose um, and use some of those apples that we bought for with a little few bites in them. It's perfect. You'll dip them in the caramel and you just eat them right away. It goes. <laughs> The last thing on my list, if you follow my channel any point in time, you know that we do this all year long, but in the fall, it really gets ramped up and that is crafts. We are going to be doing tons of crafts. Yesterday, we spent a good time outside picking pine cones of all different sizes. We also went acorn looking, but the acorns have not fallen yet, but I have some amazing crafts that we're gonna do with some acorns as well. Just all the fall crafts. I picked up a few items at the Dollar Tree. They always have fall and Thanksgiving crafts. They have seasonal crafts all the time, but I hopped in there a few weeks ago and grabbed some of their awesome fall crafts as well for really, really cheap, just to add to our collection to make it, um, I don't know, fun around here. We have started decorating, as you can see, a few pumpkins out. We have more to put out, but those are my 10 things on my fall bucket list. So if you did not think of something and I gave you some ideas of something that you wanted to do, put it down in the comments. I would love to hear about it and chat with you. Once again, I hope that you have an amazing fall. I hope that you enjoyed this video, that it gave you some ideas and sparked some newness into your fall. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel while you're here. Click that notification bell. Go ahead, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I would greatly appreciate it and YouTube loves it as well. And I will see you right back here at the Life of Tillman's for another video next time. Bye.